Hello friends. Welcome to the intro session on IPMAT Higher Maths. My name is Srinivas and I'm going to take you in this short video, uh, explain to you in detail about what is this Higher Maths and how many questions come in the exam. Uh, just to give you a brief introduction, I am from IIM Indore. I have done my MBA from IIM Indore in the year 2010. So that way, I am very glad that I am helping all students who are going to be my super, super, super juniors. Right? So let's begin to understand the topics or what exactly comprises of higher maths. So let's take a look at the topics which cover under this heading called higher maths. We have something called as the basic algebra and the higher algebra. As you can see, there are going to be linear equations special equations, quadratic equations, polynomials, and logarithms, which form a part of your basic algebra. Now, why do we call it as basic algebra? Simply because uh, these are the topics which are taught to you in your eighth and ninth classes, not even in your 10th class, right? So even if you have left your math, some of the students, especially from the international schools, or the, the syllabus that follows uh, IG syllabus or the schools that follow IG syllabus, they have a choice of not learning maths in the 10th. So I'm talking about the topics which are not covered even in the 10th class, which are covered by eighth or ninth classes. Whereas higher algebra usually comes in the 10th class maths. And some of it even comes in your 11th class maths. So that's how I'm distinguishing between basic algebra and higher algebra. Both of them come under the section called higher math. The next area is trigonometry. Now, as you all know, uh, trigonometry is something to do with angles and triangles. Uh, we'll learn a lot about that. Uh, this, the topic would have been extensively covered for those students who have taken maths in the 11th class and 12th classes. Uh, the introduction of this would have been in the 10th class. The next topic is matrices. Matrices, once again, is a topic which is introduced at the 10th class and it is extensively covered in the 11th class maths. Uh, then we have progressions, that is arithmetic progression, which is shortly called as AP. Geometric progression, which is shortly called as GP. Harmonic progression, which is HP and AGP is arithmetic and geometric progression. And finally, you have uh, a miscellaneous series of problems which do not form into any of these categories. Then the next two areas are more specific to students who have come from the math background, limits, continuity, differentiability. It's an entire uh, new area for people who have not taken maths at all. You wouldn't have encountered this till date. And then you have calculus integration, differentiation, all these topic, topics which usually make students from uh, non-math background uh, get really scared. You, you kind of run away from these topics. In fact, probably these are the topics which actually made you take up uh, uh, or at least drop maths in your 11th and 12th. Unfortunately, it is a part of your higher maths, right? Let's quickly take a look at what was the breakup of actually the questions that have come from higher math. So I'm talking about the 2019 and 2020 papers for IP math. These have been officially released by IIM Indore. Now, all of you know, I believe that the total maths is of 60 questions. 20 questions are short answer type. And the remaining 40 questions are MCQ. I hope all of you know this. Out of the total 60 in 2019, the breakup of higher math is as shown. You can see in 2019, 50%, in fact, 60% uh, here came from the entire higher math. In the year 2019, the same year, the MCQ, that is out of the 40 questions, 16 questions came from higher math. Total 60 questions, you have 28, just under 50%, almost half. 47% of the questions were from the higher math. Now, in 2020, 
However, because of the COVID, the total duration of the exam and the total number of questions were decreased. So the short answer, which was for 20 questions, became only 10 questions. And the MCQs, which were for 40 questions earlier, became only for 20 questions. You can see that the total are 10 and 20. In that also, you had 40% and 35% respectively from your higher math. Overall 30 questions, you had just under 40% from your higher math. So what is the takeaway? Is it that you're doomed? Uh, is it something that is going to really kill you in the exam? N not exactly. If it is, if that were the case, I would not be here, um, you know, trying to boost up your confidence. The whole idea is for you to understand that the exam is crackable despite having higher math in it. Let us understand why am I saying so. Let's go and take a look at the breakup of higher math. As I said, there were totally 28 questions which have come in 2019 out of 60 and 11 questions out of 30 which have come in 2020. But if you actually notice the two big areas which are really scary, that is limits and calculus. These did not appear at all. So you can take heart in the fact that IPM is moving away from these topics. It does not mean that it is never going to come. It can still come. But there are a lot of other areas which they are focusing highly on. The areas which they are focusing from higher math, these are the lists that have make that have made. You can see that logarithms and matrices are really, really important because when they get, they give four questions and four questions, and when they reduce the paper, they still maintained half of it. When effectively 60 questions became 30 questions, correct? So here also the four became two. So your logarithms and matrices are very, very important. Similarly, you can see functions and inequalities are also important. They did appear in the last two exams. Whereas binomial theorem, uh, graph theory, they appeared when the questions were higher. They did not appear when the questions were lower, which means they, in, if you, you can analyze and say that if they have to drop something, they will not drop your logarithms and matrices. Pro probably they will drop out your graph theory in terms of importance or binomial theorem for that matter. Whereas progressions will still be important. Okay, so this is just for you to understand what happened. Trigonometry will be important. Coordinate geometry will be important. So the whole idea is for you to understand that do not get square, scared by looking at these topics because these did not appear at all. Limits, calculus, integration, differentiation, uh, finite integrals, all those things did not come in the last two, three years at all. They actually, if you ask me, they came long time back, probably in 2013 or 14. I don't even remember when. But after that, they have never appeared. So you should focus on these areas more when it comes to higher maths. So what is it that we will do as a part of our higher maths course? I'm going to have a series of classes which will cover the entire syllabus for each and every topic, including calculus that I have mentioned in the list of topics. Each video will not be for very long. It is not going to be for more than 15 minutes to 30 minutes because I understand you guys are all restless. You can't keep staring at a screen for more than 30 minutes unless it's a movie or it's an Iron Man movie. Iron Man is dead now, by the way. So probably another Marvel movie. But the point being, uh, because I don't want to really stare at a screen for a long time, I will give you short videos of 15 to 30 minutes each. After the theory has been explained in the video, I will make sure that you guys will have a set of questions to practice. Right? So each video will have practice questions. Right? So that's the uh, curriculum and that's how it's going to take. And the other thing we are also going to do is we're going to put all of you into a dedicated telegram group 
where I will be the moderator and I will keep giving you a daily dose of questions. And morning the questions will come and the solutions will be coming up in the evening. The questions here will, will be slightly uh, tricky. It's not going to be very straightforward. Uh, so we expect it to be a challenge for you guys. And uh, from time to time, we are also going to have discussion on various papers which have happened in the previous IP map. Uh, the updates about the exam, the application forms, any changes, whatever else it is, we are going to be discussing in this Telegram group. So friends, hopefully I'll be seeing you all in the, in the higher math course. Have a good day. Goodbye.